I have had an epiphany over the last couple of years. I had a stroke in 2021. It started before that in 2020, June 15th. It's coming up the uh, uh, anniversary when I got Bell's palsy. And uh, my face was down here. My eye was down there. And nobody knows how it happens. But uh, it set me on a path. I started thinking different and living life differently. Then I had a stroke the week of Christmas 2021. And I had to take all these medications, which I really don't like to take because, well, I like to get back to their place normally. And you do that with food. The food they sell you in the American stores, and this is the reason they are so large. In Europe, they're all about the size of a plaid pantry. They're main grocery stores. You buy what you need for that day or a couple days, you go to the store a bunch. And it's all good for you because the government pays for the health care. Yes, I know. They tax you, and then, but ultimately, there isn't the big profit like there is in America with insurance and doctors and medicine. But if you think about it, I know 5,000. I have a Facebook page with 5,000 people from Europe only. I won't allow anybody from the USA on that page. None of them have cancer, and none of them have died from cancer. In America, I know 139 people who have died since 1999, and most of them from cancer or food-related, but the doctors won't tell you it's food-related. It'll blow their whole scheme. So that's why... The stores are large in America, not because we're the greatest country in the world. No, because there's so many options to kill yourself solely. It's worse than alcohol. My one doc, all my doctors never asked me what I ate. They never considered that as a cause of my high blood pressure, which was 289 over 169, which is, I found out, a record for OHSU. But they never asked me what I ate. They asked me if I drank soda pop. That's it. That's the only th- And then they had somebody come in to give me a, a drug evaluation to see if I was on drugs. No, I'm just weird normally. I just think on a higher plane, I like to think. But really, the food you eat, those colorful boxes in the store that say, eat me, eat me, look, there's a ba- bunny rabbit on here. Eat the most natural food you can, like broccoli. All the fruit and vegetables hasn't been processed. Just eat that. You don't need all this other crap with fried foods. I quit liking food because it tasted good or satisfied some craving. If you fast for a while, maybe two weeks, you will lose the addiction to Sweets to sugar, sugar, sugar is the worst of all. That's worse than cocaine. You can cure your addiction to sugar by not eating it. How simple. And then you start to think of different, you think it makes your mind work differently and better. So I, you know, I recommend fruit. Can be frozen, but they sell it cut up in every store. And you mix it with some water, put it in a blender, drink it. Or you can eat it. But chia seeds and flax meal, put that in there. It'll help your blood pressure. It'll keep you from getting hungry. I'll wake up. I squeeze one lemon, put some cayenne pepper, a tablespoon, and... Cover that with a tablespoon or more, more of olive oil, and I drink that. I'm not hungry for anything else. It cures that hunger. I don't eat breakfast. I don't eat till one o'clock, which it's about one o'clock now. You see, if you let enough time go by, your body has a chance to reset the uh, insulin. 
But if we keep eating, the insulin pump turns on. The guy manning the insulin pump, I should say operating the man, uh, insulin pump, he turns it on when he eat because, oh, we got to combat that sugar. And it never shuts off for some people because they eat all day and all night long, snacking. When, anytime you snack on anything sugar, the insulin pump goes on. The idea is to turn that pump off for long enough so your body can reset. Or the exercise you do, all that stuff is worthless. So, try it. You'll only get healthier. Buy fresh stuff. Forget the stuff in a box because it's easy. Or microwavable crap has got so many chemicals in there, you could probably peel your paint with it. And all the things that say healthy, there is no law against putting that word on any product in America. In fact, America is... The land of the easily swayed. And I think that's all the time we got for this. I'm Matt McCourt, and good health to you. <laughs>